crappie time. We got bait. Crappie is going crazy in Tennessee. The competition that we're out here uh, uh, fighting for today, I guess, is going to be uh, one big black crappie species, one big white crappie, white crappie species, and a kicker fish bonus, largemouth. Uh, they think we never catch largemouth. We just don't ever bring them in. We always let them go. Those bass, those bass guys would die if they see what we catch down here real foot on crappie poles, four pound line. This is going to be white fish right here. We'll, we'll give it about 45 minutes. And if we hadn't got one. We'll head out to better, I'll better get this spot. One. The better this spot. This will be on me. <laughs> it's, it's probably been eight to ten months since I've been here, but crappie are just like creatures of habit. They just uh, they'll pretty much go to the same place every year to spawn, and they'll they'll generally hang out in the same area they did year before. Got live baby shad today, and um, we got a uh, actually a hot pink minahead on here, 16th ounce, number two hook. Wonderful hook for uh, fishing heavy structure. You can keep it unhung a lot better than a round hook. So I'm uh, tipping it actually with a live shiner to give me some stationary action. That, that minnow actually does a lot of work for me. And uh, I'm gonna drop her down there, see what happens. Oh. Uh -oh. Six pound test, you always run the risk of fish breaking off. Uh, I mean, you know, you, you probably can't pick a fish that weighs a pound and a quarter up with this line. The reason for the six pound is it's, the diameter is smaller and you have less drag going through the water because I'm only fishing a 16th ounce jig head with no weight. like that. There's so much advantage to having some kind of live bait on your hook, but actually putting that bait on there gives you one for scent. It, the most important too is, is scent, live scent, natural scent. Um, number two, after you've, after you've hooked your men on there, the vibration that it's creating is unlike no other. I mean, no, no human can actually do that. And they're used to that men doing that all the time uh, when they're striking every day. So. Um, Having that minnow on there and eight, fishing with all these multiple rods, when a fish does bite it, having that live sand, he'll hold it longer and give you time to grab the pole and get the hook set. Um, as opposed to not having some sort of sand on there, he's, he's almost, it's almost a reaction time to set it out from right there. That's a good fish. There he is. He, he, see, he would, he would might have spit that out if I hadn't had a bait on it. I'm gonna lift that on in. That is a white crappie from Real Foot Lake right there, about a half, three quarter pound fish. He did swallow it, I'm talking about all the way down. Do you think they like live baby shad or what? All right, beautiful fish in it. He's edible. He's edible. <laughs> <laughs> we can't let the first one go, huh? No, This is kind of the size luck. I want to keep. I let a lot of big females go, but that's, that's a great eating fish, without a doubt. Beautiful color. Sure. But, We've known each other about 20 years now. We're, we're real good friends and he's, he's taught me a lot. And if you ever get around him, uh, and, and our fortune to go to one of his seminars, uh, you need to take notes because what he tells you about fishing is the gospel. I tell people all the time, I think he was born with gills instead of lungs because he thinks just like a fish. He pretty much sets the standard. Every tournament we go to or any lake it is, you, it kind of sets a standard of, of how you fish and everybody seems to want to know where he's fishing, how he's fishing, what bait he's using, how deep he's fishing and what method he's using because he just, he could go any lake in the country and, and win. He's capable of winning every tournament, I guess, basically. But if you will, it's kind of like riding down a back country road with two spotlights shining out of each window. and. If you were to shine a tree 
on the side of the road, there'd be a shadow behind that tree. That black line is actually the shadow behind that stone. Proppy Time is brought to you by B&M Poles. Wherever fishing takes you, B&M has been there. By Certified Arkansas Bait Fish. Log on to safebait.org. By Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. By Mossback Fish Attractor. No matter how you stack them, we attract them. And by the Russellville, Arkansas Tourism and Visitor Center, the home of Lake Dardanelle. TackleCenter.com is your best online source for all things fishing. Your website experience is easy, and Tackle Center's huge selection has everything you need at the lowest prices guaranteed. Log on to TackleCenter.com today. Find the Big Bass Battle logo and discover this week's specials of at least 20% off. Log on to the best and online value at TackleCenter.com. Attention liver damage victims. Pain reliever medicines containing acetaminophen, most notably Tylenol, have been linked to liver failure. If you or a loved one have taken Tylenol or prescription painkillers which contain acetaminophen and were hospitalized for liver failure, received a liver transplant, or even died due to complications from liver failure, call the Reliant Group. You may be entitled to a significant cash award. Call the Reliant Group right now to be connected with an experienced attorney for a free consultation and to see if you may qualify for financial compensation. There's absolutely no risk on your part. You don't owe us a penny unless we're successful. Do not delay. There are time deadlines to file a claim. If you or a loved one have been hospitalized for liver failure after taking Tylenol or other drugs containing acetaminophen, Call the Relyon Group at 800-520-4423. That's This set of poles that you're looking at is, is basically um, the technique that has dominated the tournament circuit over the years, um, fishing multiple poles. And basically we fish four rods as kind of a tournament limit. Uh, so it's, it's a common thing to fish eight, four per person. And uh, that's, that's pretty standard. I remember as a kid, um, you know, as a kid we fished um, here at Real Foot with only three. My grandfather would only let me put three poles, you know, on the front of the boat. But we did fish the same um, type rigs uh, that we're still fishing today. We just we just have fine-tuned them so much. But sometimes I have a problem with these long poles, but I, actually they're a heck of an advantage when you're in heavy structure and you're trying to punch and jig loose. You can just, if you've got a 14-foot rod and you're seven, eight foot of water, it's not a problem to punch it down there and bam, pop it right off. So, um, you know, having a longer longer pole, these are 14-foot being in poles. And uh, they're really my favorite if I had to pick one hung up right here, she's, she's got to hang. Um, what I'm gonna do is grab the line on this pole, pull, pull it straight down till the tip of the rod hits the jig, bam, popped it right off. See, and then I just let it fall right back. Pretty slick, huh? Those bass fishermen, they don't have rods long enough to reach that deep. Bike, bike. That's a good bike right there. Yes, sir. All right. I'm gonna put that pole right back over here. Okay, you can pull him over and land him. Watch his face. Good fish right there. Oh. Gotta get us a minute here. I'm, you know, uh, another little thing I like to do this time of year is use a little bit bigger minnow than I typically would later on, um, say in June after the spawn you'd want to cut the minnow size way down, but right now they're gobbling up almost anything that they consider food. Oh, man. I had another bite on another one. That looks like a bass. Yeah, that is.
Yeah, not exactly a crappie, but I think they won't keep it anyway. Yeah, that's that lily pads. That pads? Okay. That's exactly what we want yeah. fish right there, see? Is that the shadow? This that's is usually what we do when we're pre-fishing. We eliminate areas. So come tournament day, he knows exactly where he's gonna fish. Yeah, yeah, you can narrow it down a little bit. And uh, it's all about time management in the tournaments. I and mean, we're trying to find places we can catch a lot of numbers, catch a whole lot of numbers, the quickest. And um, usually when you end up with some numbers, you end up with some size, you know, and you're catching some fish, some volume. So usually when I'm pre-fishing, I get the, the elimination. So we, we might not catch anything. And then he comes in on tournament day, and he's one. I'm like, how'd you do that? We didn't catch any fish all week. Get you some pretty good shots of um, what we're seeing on this side scan here in a second. Show you how detailed it is. For people that really don't know how to use this, it's, it's, it's really a lot easier. I know it's intimidated a lot of people that's, that's friends of mine, you know, in the crappie fishing world. They, they say, well, I, you know, I can't operate a GPS, much less a side scan. And uh, I'm thinking, this is so easy. You just turn it on. Basically, the only thing I ever really adjust is the is the distance that I'm shooting out each side of the boat and also the sensitivity. That's the two main things that, that I adjust a lot. But if you will, it's kind of like riding down a back country road with two spotlights shining out of each window. And if you were to shine a tree on the side of the road, there'd be a shadow behind that tree. That black line is actually the shadow behind that stump. The white spot is actually the stump itself. And, the, and it's throwing the shadow. The, the shadow, the, the length of the shadow actually gives you an indication of how tall the stump is. If it's a real short shadow like that, then the stump's not sticking very far off the bottom. If it's a, uh-oh, there's one. We just bumped. That, that was one we just bumped. It was sticking all the way to the top. It goes all the way to the far side of the screen, the shadow does. Direct structure fishing is the name of game crappie fishing. And no sense in wasting time fishing dead water. And uh, without one of these units, uh, Man, you cannot compete, as far as I'm concerned, anymore on, on any of the tournament circuits. Oh, man, I broke my line. Look at that. Let me see if I can stand here. No. Like that. Broke my line, still got it. I broke my line on my rod. It was laying on top of the water and I stuck a hook down and caught the fish. That's a good fish. There's another one, Kate. They're everywhere. Thought you hit my ball. Golly, they run in school. There's another one up there. There he is. Crappie Time is brought to you by TackleCenter.com, by the Big Green Egg, by Lake Fork Trophy Lures, lures with an attitude, and by Canaan Polarized Sunglasses, evolve optically. Kevin, are you sure this is okay? We're cool. I know a guy. Hey, y'all. Run. Go. Run. Where'd they go? I was just going to ask them what they were biting on. Go where the pros go for great deals on great gear and three easy ways to shop. Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. Are you sure this is okay? Don't worry. I know a guy. For over 75 years, our families worked hard to provide the highest quality, most sensitive crappie equipment to fishermen, backed by the best customer service in the industry. Whether you're jigging live bait or artificial bait, spider rigging, dock shooting, pulling crankbaits, or bottom bouncing, B&M has created a pole or rod to fit your needs. Fish with the equipment that top professionals use to win tournaments. Fish with an unfair advantage. Fish with B&M. 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 John Mapes is 42, mortgage, married, two great kids. He wants to protect his family with a $500,000 term life insurance policy. What do you think it'll cost him? $100 a month, 60, 40? Actually, none of the above. John can get a $500,000 policy from a highly rated insurer for under $25 a month. His secret, select quote. 
Select Quote is impartial. They'll search the pick of insurers like these to give you a choice of your best prices. Select Quote has great savings on term life for women, too. John's wife, Carrie, can get a $500,000 policy for under $16 a month. Select Quote has helped make term life insurance affordable for hundreds of thousands of people since 1985. How about you? Just call this number or visit SelectQuote.com. TackleCenter.com is your best online source for all things fishing. Your website experience is easy, and Tackle Center's huge selection has everything you need at the lowest prices guaranteed. Log on to TackleCenter.com today. Find the Big Bass Battle logo and discover this week's specials of at least 20% off. Log on to the best in online value at TackleCenter.com. There's they, a fish right there. Oh my gosh. Gosh, that's so bad. Gosh, don't. Gosh, you see him bite that? I told you he was large mouth country. This place is loaded with bass. I'm talking about absolutely loaded with Hurry large up, mouth. Get your poles in oh, I thought you had one. <laughs> he scared me. I get excited. I get um I get as many bass bites sometimes. Oh wait, there he goes. There's another one. He got the pole. <laughs> gosh. Did you see that? Chuck the pole out of it. Good night. <laughs> got a what a mess. mess. What a mess. Okay. Give me the Here you go. Land this bass, girl. You get it. I'm Large too tangled up everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. Here. Okay, what a got mess. It. Oh. Okay. Did he swallow it or what? Sometimes they actually get in the way of a crappie fishing day. Sure. You can catch a bass on a jig pole. You gotta watch these poles, they'll be gone. <laughs> I kinda hand grade them a lot. Uh-oh. I want a smaller, smaller, smaller size here. Got him. Let me get it right there where I can hold on to it. Right through the end of the lips. How about that? About perfect. There he is. Blacking, little blacking. We're trying to put a little bit smaller men on here since the bite's not so, not so um, aggressive. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm already seeing that I've had a few bites and they kind of swim sideways with it, and not get on. Those big old minnows is not what you want to be fishing with when that's happening. I'm trying to pick out the the small minnows out of my out of my box and. Um, choose them rather than the big fat ones. Well, I've been telling you uh, while we've been fishing today how important it is sometimes to use a small minnow versus a big minnow. This time of year in the spring is typically when fish will take a bigger minnow and actually prefer one. But sometimes if the bite's finicky, I'll back down on minnow size. And when you start doing that, I have a little device that I was wanting to show you that I come up with myself that really makes life a whole lot easier for me. And uh, my cooler is full of minnows of all sizes that I bought from the store, which is typical when you're buying minnows. I mean, you never know uh, if they're gonna be graded or not graded, but most of the time they're not. There's some, some of all sizes. So what I do, I slide this into my, into my cooler and I start basically just raking it to one end. And once it gets within about a fourth, I usually just kind of stop it and leave it. At that point, all the minnows are here. I got them kind of pushed into a corner. And with just a few rakes of your hand, you can scare basically the smaller grade of minnows through the screen. And the little minnows will end up over here and all the big minnows that won't fit through it will be here. And really what it does is save you, at the end of the day, saves you a lot of time when you reach and grab a minnow, he's the one you want to put on your hook if you're after a big one. On the other hand, Smaller ones are on that side, so just another little tip to help you get uh, a few more fish in the boat at the end of the day. Crappie Time sends a special thanks to the good folks at Cypress Point Resort. Check out cypresspointresort.com for your next trip to Real Foot Lake. 
For over 75 years, our family's worked hard to provide the highest quality, most sensitive crappie equipment to fishermen, backed by the best customer service in the industry. Whether you're jigging live bait or artificial bait, spider rigging, dock shooting, pulling crankbaits, or bottom bouncing, B&M has created a pole or rod to fit your needs. Fish with the equipment the top professionals use to win tournaments. Fish with an unfair advantage. Fish with B&M. 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 Do you owe the IRS or state more than $10,000 in back taxes? Well, you can stop stressing right now. At Blue Tax, our team of tax professionals will remove bank levies and wage garnishments fast. Stop all collection activity immediately and negotiate a settlement on your entire tax debt. You could end up paying way less than you owe. 800-275-4801 for a free consultation. That's 800-275-4801. And remember, you heard it from me, Max, at Blue Tax. Wow! Attention liver damage victims. Pain reliever medicines containing acetaminophen, most notably Tylenol, have been linked to liver failure. If you or a loved one have taken Tylenol or prescription painkillers which contain acetaminophen and were hospitalized for liver failure, received a liver transplant, or even died due to complications from liver failure, call the Reliant Group. You may be entitled to a significant cash award. Call the Reliant Group right now to be connected with an experienced attorney for a free consultation and to see if you may qualify for financial compensation. There's absolutely no risk on your part. You don't owe us a penny unless we're successful. Do not delay. There are time deadlines to file a claim. If you or a loved one have been hospitalized for liver failure after taking Tylenol or other drugs containing acetaminophen, Call the Relyon Group at 800-520-4423. That's 800-520-4423. When one bites, you better be watching the other poles because there'll be another one that's, that's working with him. What they do is two or three fish will work together to school up a bunch of shiners or shad or whatever they're feeding on. When they run into this set of poles, you, you catch two or three fish at one time. The bass fishermen, a lot of times, they'll, they'll get a fish on, have another one follow it up to the boat. Well, that's the same same deal. These these are all in the sunfish family. That's a bite. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you see, buddy? There you go. Oh, sh that's a good fish. There's another one, Kate. They're everywhere. I thought you hit my pole. Golly, they run in school. There's another one right there. There he is. They're on. Told you, girl. I promise you that fish, if he don't weigh a pound and a half, um. Beauty right there. They're kind of few and far between today, but that's about an average. That's about what you'll catch for real for an average size. It'll probably weigh a pound and a quarter, pound and a half, probably. White crappie. There he is. Yes, sir. Oh, large mouth. Unless it's a grill. Oh. Get, get me that little net, okay? Woohoo! That's what we're looking for, wasn't it? Boy, those bass fishermen are gonna be mad at us, but we will let him go. I'm telling you, this is addicting. You're probably gonna get you some crappie poles. Next time uh, you get a free day, it'll be, what do I need to buy? And what kind of pole holder do I need? And what kind of stuff do I need? And so get ready, you'll probably be hooked too. If you're not hooked by now, wait till we get them fried up. Then you'll be really hooked. Hey, well guys, uh, it's been pretty, uh, pretty fun. Without a doubt, we had about four hours to go on Real Foot Lake fish with all artificial lures from Lake Fork Tackle. 
to see who could bring in the biggest black crappie, the biggest white crappie, and as a bonus, the biggest largemouth. Don't tell those bass fishermen. We were fishing in five or six foot of water at the most. I know Wade, he probably uh, hung a little deeper than I did today. I was after some big black ones. So uh, yeah, put them on the which scales. one you want to do first, buddy? Let's do the black one. Let's do the black one. Here we go. You ready? Let me do mine first. Ah, it's going to hurt. It's a little girl. A 1-8. 108. Pretty good one. 108. A little over pound fish. He's a nice one. You can't wait but one. <laughs> okay. Well, I won't beat you too bad, maybe. Oh, that's good. Reset. 112. 12. 112 on that one. Okay, let's do these big white ones in. My first now. So I got the black crappie winner, right? Yeah. That was the main one, right? Here's a nice little white one we come up with. 114. 1.14. 1.14. Man, you I think he's going to give you a run for his money. Yep. Told you he's holding out on me. 169. That that's a good, a good fish, one. yeah, that's a, that's a good fish. You got me on that one. I'm now for the bonus, right? Uh-oh. This really don't count. This, I mean, this is not even fair. That's just, we don't even have to weigh them. The bass fishermen will be happy to let them go. Yeah. <laughs> we'll let these babies go. Yeah. Good job. Without a doubt. Copies uh, might not be so lucky. To sum up the day, um, I guess I'm gonna hold some bragging rights. Uh, looks like the largemouth bass was uh, in my favor for sure, and that's kicked me over. Wade uh, smoked me on the big white one. Um, I think I got him a little bit on the black one. But uh, anyway, it was a great day. We had a great time, and uh, for the short time we were out there, I think we were real productive at catching fish. Um, the best time's coming, grilling and frying. So that's where we're headed. At least we got fish to fry board in place that's high enough where I don't have to bend over. We got us about a gallon, a gallon, gallon and a half. I uh, hope y'all like them a little spicy. Uh, fish and hush puppies first, fish will be last. Y'all better get ready. Drop about six or eight fillets in at the most, and I shake it real good. My temperature is about 375 right now. Guys, I want to tell you, the Cajun fryer that we've just used took us about 18 minutes to, to cook fries, hush puppies, and fish. It's the best fish cooker on the planet. As far as I'm concerned, I've been, I've been cooking with it since the original ones come out. And uh, not only do I have them here at my home, I got them at my duck blind as well. But when you bring it to heat, 18 minutes later, you can be ready to eat. Now, hey, there's no fish cooker on the planet that can do that. They'll, they'll be as crispy uh, the first batch as, they, as the second batch. Best fish cooker you'll ever buy. Get you one, especially if you fish for crappie.